हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम ज्ञानी कोडर एंड इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज आई एम सोल्विंग हैकर एंक पाइथन चैलेंजेस सो आर टूडेज चैलेंज इज टाइम डेल्टा ही आई वेन यूजर्स पोस्ट एंड अपडेट ऑन सोशल मीडिया सच एज यू आर इमेज स्टेटस अपडेट एक्सेट्रा यूजर्स कैन ऑल्सो सी वेन द पोस्ट वॉज पब्लिश मीन्स हाउ मेनी आवर मिनिट और सेकेंड्स अगो सिंस समटाइम्स पोस्ट आर पब्लिश एंड व्यूड इन डिफरेंट टाइम जोन्स so this can be confusing for the users okay now we have two time stamps in the following format means day date month year hour minute seconds and the time zone now we have to print the absolute difference between them in seconds now the input format will be like this the first line contains t means the number of test cases now the each test cases we have two time zones t1 and t2 output format will be like this the absolute time difference t1 minus t2 in seconds let's see our sample input so here we have two test cases first test case is this and the second is this for the first test case t1 will be this sunday 10th may 2015 13 hour 54 minutes and 36 seconds with the time zone is minus 0700 t2 is sunday may 10 2015 Thirteen fifty-four minutes thirty-six seconds with time zone minus zero 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 zero, and the absolute time difference between them is twenty-five thousand two hundred seconds. These two time zones we have the absolute difference is eighty-eight thousand and two hundred seconds. Let's code here. We have already a partial amount of code. We have to complete just time delta function here. First, we are going to import our modules of form. date time import date time module okay here in the date time module we have two arguments pass in here t1 and t2 which are just inputs simple string inputs but we have to convert that into time format okay so for that we have function in date time module which is called stip time okay so time1 is equals to date time dot stip time and i have to just pass here t1 and a string something like this here a is denotes the day d denotes the date b denotes the month y denotes the year h denotes i m denotes minutes s denotes seconds and z denotes the time zone okay now same for time 2 is equals to this copy from here and paste it down control v and i have to just change here t1 to t2 okay now we have both times now i want to return the absolute time so absolute time of time 1 minus time 2 okay but i want the answer in seconds so it will total seconds will help us to get our answers in second but i want it in an integer i don't want uh, my time to be in fraction so i will just swap this in an integer format so integer i have to just return it in uh, string format so string now let's run our code and see what we get here our sample test case 0 is successfully run so let's submit our code here our all three cases is successfully run if you like this video then don't forget to click like share comment and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive our latest video updates and if you want to see my source code the link is in the description box below thank you